The 5 Second Rule. This podcast brought to you by Vinvest. Subscribe to our channel to unlock your full potential. Welcome to the Power of 5 Second Rule, where we explore Mel Robbins' technique for overcoming procrastination, self doubt, and fear. In this episode, we'll discuss the first test of the rule getting out of bed 30 minutes earlier than you normally would. The 5 Second Rule is a simple but powerful technique. When you have an urge to do something that aligns with your goals, but you're hesitating, count backward from 5 to 1, then take action. By using the rule, you can override your brain's habitual patterns of hesitation and procrastination, and push yourself to take action. Mel Robbins suggests that using the rule to get out of bed early is a great first test because there are few factors affecting the test. Success depends only on your alarm clock sounding and you implementing the rule. Therefore, if you don't get out of bed, it's because you didn't act when you reached one, and not because something else got in the way. When you get rid of external factors to blame for your inaction and take full responsibility for your choices, you may find that you feel worse about yourself if you fail. You might even chastise yourself and tell yourself that you should be doing better. In The Now Habit, Neil Fiore explains that many people try to motivate themselves to act by saying that they should be better. This implies that they're a bad person if they don't do the right thing, making them feel ashamed, and the shame drains their motivation, making it harder for them to act. Instead of using harmful, should language that triggers shame, Fiori recommends telling yourself that you choose to get out of bed early, or that you want to get out of bed early. Putting your alarm clock in the room next to your bedroom can help you succeed in this test. When your alarm goes off, use the rule, get up when you count down to one, then leave the room to turn off the alarm. Doing so discourages you from going back to sleep after your alarm goes off, once you're already out of bed, you might as well stay out. Also, never hit snooze on your alarm clock. Research shows that going back to sleep for 15 minutes after snoozing your alarm triggers a new sleep cycle, making you feel groggy for up to 4 hours. Counting backward helps us take control and live more intentionally by shifting the brain away from our habitual thinking patterns. She claims that counting backward activates the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain that deals with purposeful action, focus, and instigating change. Once that part of the brain is activated, it's easier for us to focus on challenging our normal patterns. By using the rule and compelling yourself to act, you can feel what it's like to push through this period of struggle, getting out of bed, and reach the point where it's easy to continue, when you're up and moving. Mark Manson suggests that most people see emotional inspiration as the cause of action, if they don't feel inspired, they don't get started. However, he suggests that inspiration is also the result of action, once you get started on something, that progress often gives you the motivation you need to continue, 